Now, by popular demand, Moonshooter Enterprises, in conjunction with Tanzer Unlimited, brings you the adventures of Toby the iRobot. If I can get him turned on. Come on, Toby. Wake up. Charge! First thing Toby has to do is try to establish a pattern. He's doing a swirly motion. Try to keep him in the frame. And now he's wall crawling. Wall crawl, Toby. Watch here. Toby hits the virtual wall. That's the little silver box over there on the left of your screen. It's preventing him from going through the doorway. Now he makes his way around the vanity, really beating the hell out of these 80-year-old table legs. Go, Toby! I love how he gets trapped under there, actually. It gets it really, really clean. Come on, Toby. He'll find his way. Oh, so close. See, I have no control over which way Toby decides to go. That's all part of his own artificial intelligence programming. Here he's headed for the big dust of crap. Oh, and now he's headed for me. Well, we'll let him bounce off just this once. There we go. Stay with me while I circle around. And there he is again. Still working around the big dust of crap. Looks like he's back in wall crawl mode. Again, I have no control over this. He just kind of sets his own patterns and sticks to it. And he's headed back to the vanity. Oh. This is crisscross mode. He's coming at me again, bouncing off. Roombas operate, of course, in three modes, the circular that we've already seen, and the wall crawl, followed by the crisscross. This makes sure that they hit every available bit of floor. Although in a room this size, it's going to take this whole one-hour cleaning cycle. Then he'll charge for four or five hours and then go do another room. I'm waiting for him to crawl around the big desk. Maybe he'll do it now. These are my favorite bookcases here that he's investigating. I'll give you a quick look at those. Yay, favorite bookcases. And Toby's crawling. We get a lot of dog hair collected right in this general area. Something about the air currents. This house has a lot of problems with air currents. Oh, he's coming at me again. Ah, crash. The sensors are really quite amazing, as you can see. It doesn't waste any time at all once he hits something, bouncing off of it and moving on. That thing there that he just passed that looks like a rotten tomato is actually a fragment of a skin tennis ball belonging to our border collie, Doc. I cannot get her to give it up. I've put it in the trash many times, but she always gets it back. Doc's a little bit insane, so we try to humor her. He keeps coming after me. I'm not sure why that is. I'm trying to get out of his way again. There we go. A lot of times I use the virtual wall to uh, divide the room in half makes this sort of thing a lot easier, but this time I decided to just shut off 
the doorways out of the two big rooms and let him run the whole thing as he sees fit. And there he goes. Oh, he's going to hit the vanity. Dang. Was hoping you'd get to see him bouncing off the virtual wall again. Sometimes when I think he's not doing the right thing, I get in there with my feet and, you know, kind of hurt him. But he doesn't really care for that. <clears throat> it messes up his idea of how he should be running the room. And, you know, I think his artificial intelligence might actually be superior to my human intelligence, so I try to let him have his way. And then I laugh at him when he gets trapped under there, because I just think that's funny. There we go, Toby. Give y'all a quick look at the vanity while we're waiting. Isn't that nice? We got that at a yard sale. It doesn't really fit with our early junkyard furnishings here in the giant barn of a house. But the family's been in the antique business for so long that you just can't really see a piece of furniture like that for $20 and not buy it. It's sort of a problem that we have. And Big Orange Roy, my hostile cat, does enjoy sitting on it. That whining noise you hear is Toby getting frustrated. There we go, now he's loose. <clears throat> and he's headed back to the desk of the apocalypse. This, of course, is the desk where I do all my work. See, there's my computer and... You know, gosh, that's just a really big, huge mess there right now. I, I should have cleaned that off before I started filming, but, you know, I was riding this morning, and I just didn't give a crap with actually how that happened. <laughs> Here we go. Toby's making for the really dirty part of the room. Want to see why it's the dirty part of the room? Ranger, the big giant dog of the apocalypse. That dog sheds more than any animal I've ever encountered in my life. But the vet says it's probably mostly due to her medication, and in a couple of months, or, you know, a year, whenever she gets off of it, that'll probably get better. God bless her, at least she's not crazy like Doc. Come on, Toby, turn around, we've done this part. This is me bouncing him off of my feet, trying to get him to go somewhere else. But, you know, he really wants to go clockwise now. Come on, Toby, move it. Yeah, you just can't win against these things. It's kind of like, you know, the Terminator. Eventually the robots will take over. I, I think the Roombas probably proved that. But I'm getting my floor swept, so I'm willing to put up with it. And that, I think, is what's wrong with America. You know, I'm definitely part of the problem here. And the fact that I'm okay with being part of the problem is a big reason why I'm part of the problem. Whee! There he goes again. But I haven't had a really serious allergy attack since he's been here, so that's me thinking that it's worth it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. They're highly unpredictable. I don't know where he's going, which is why I'm doing such a crap job of this. Bang! This is my front door with a giant gap under it. I told you we lived in a barn. Very drafty. And you should see the size of the spiders that come through there. I stalked one of them for a week last year until I was able to run over it. And we're going for the sofa. Ranger, as you can see, is not at all interested, but Doc, the crazy border collie, is watching it intently. Toby gets too close to her. She will bark and growl and go completely off on him. It's hilarious. I mean, she really thinks it's going to make a difference. Here he is trying to get into the bedroom, but there's a virtual wall on the other side of the door frame, so check out the bouncing action there, boys and girls. That's how that works. So, it looks like I'm running out of... Let's say goodbye to Toby and Ranger, and Doc. Until next time, thanks for watching.